This week we will begin our study of sustainability by defining it. What is sustainability? In your readings you'll note that terms and definitions are always important, especially when considering the context in which they were meant. Let's first start with the broad three pillars of sustainability found at the link noted on this page and start thinking about how all the puzzle pieces fit together if we want to succeed. Critical infrastructure refers to the water, wastewater, power, and transportation and te telecommunications industries. Infrastructure systems, like environmental corridors, do not stop at community, city, state, or even national boundaries. Instead, they link regions and markets which are complicated by political and jurisdictional issues that have to be addressed. A basic framework for developing sustainable critical infrastructure systems must include a broad and compelling vision, a focus on providing the integration of essential services, recognition of the interdependencies among the critical infrastructure systems, collaborative system-based approaches, and performance measures. Sustainability is broadly defined to mean the ability of systems to meet the needs of and current and future generations to be physically resilient, cost-effective, environmentally viable, and socially equitable. A more in-depth definition is that sustainability can be defined as the ability of developers, users, communities, and societies to continue current practices given predicted rates of demographic change, economic and social resources, objectives of developers, the community and society, carrying capacities of ecosystems. With this in mind, sustainable development must demonstrate a long-term balance between economic growth, society, and an ecosystem's health. Focus areas to be considered when considering sustainable practices would include land use, site ecology, community design and connections, water use, energy performance, energy security, materials and construction, light and air, climate design, and design flexibility. A common pool resource is defined as a valued natural or human-made resource or facility that is available to more than one person and subject to a degradation as a result of overuse. Today's understanding of the links between environment and development stems from the Brundtland Report, Our Common Future, from 1987. Many internet sources can be used to review the report, however the report is 23 megabytes in size. It has spread quickly and is now a central theme in numerous organizations and countries in attempting to reconcile real conflicts between the economy and the environment.